Assalamualaikum. Part nine, part nine ni fir aslam abar apna dar maje days gonni. Cholen kela shuru ho. Ah, you can be replaced, my friend. You can be replaced. Yeah, I see. Welcome, viewers. Welcome, welcome. Kala shuru ho. You got something to say about it? You don't like what you see? Just ask. I'm to reload kori mo full full. Ita ki side arm suppressor, primary suppressor. Suppressor, I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it. Stay safe. Right real mission is Jabo. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Let's make Captain last Curry's mission set it the gassy. Like, I'm on the jam on the way to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to loot you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with it, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine. Man. I'm fine. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. Right, oh, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Crazy, Taylor, ma. Is that lesbian? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Corporal. Doc. Garrett. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, 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 no. I don't think so. Co Coronel? No entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... Allah. 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 Drive to location. Where is my bike? I don't know, my friend. Where I should drive? Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I you can't get what I need there. You. <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. My God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an no, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? No. What's just up, one. Haya? Backlight. Just one. Backlight. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... No. Nope, my friends. Nope. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. 
Good, with Deke... Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. Like Weaver's equipment right now. that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you were in the army once you should know that was different how well there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president and... Can I go third card? Patches, tats like uniforms. Maybe, yeah. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and fights. Now that you mention it, I, I yeah. can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you were wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. It's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the... Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Wrong. Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spend all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. 
Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Where are you going, yeah, man? Coming up on the tails and tunnel. That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move us or what? Yeah, sure. I guess I'm going to win in the old area. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up Yo, at a nearer checkpoint for about a mile. Old area. Got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, man, I'm going to the familiar. old area, my friend. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the, the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Wow, well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power, it's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is, uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Oh. 
crows. Goddamn crows. They're infected. That's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're Sarah, these uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go. Come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department For what? constantly complaining about the system going down. And uh, there is that no was charge. with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocol. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Hey, Get down. Get 
mother fucking you were saying? Yeah. Nothing's going to stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Alert. Do whatever you can. Multiple shots have been fired. I'll signal you when it's clear. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. With you there. Hey, you! Look, whoever's shooting, stop! I have clearance to be here! You can check the computer. My name is Sarah Whitaker, research specialist. I. Do. Okay. It's clear. Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. Alert. Alert. You must not have locked out inner security. Has been you ready? Police yeah, this time, let me go in. Stand and you will hey, this harmed. time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? I'm shot! Okay. Shit. Alert. Sniper. Alert. This is a level four I'll alarm. See. Multiple shots. Security alert. Disable my alert. fucking voice. This response. is a level four alarm. Whoa. Multiple shots have Ready? been fired. Security personnel yeah. to the maintenance building. Get this goddamn door locked up. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Deadly force is 
is authorized for use against all trespassers. Yeah, on it. Deadly force is authorized. I got a use for you. I don't remember taking this photo. Nothing here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear. Same here. Try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator Alert. for Alert. assistance. Has been fucking called. bitch! Police are hey, on hey. Going Stand that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Well, Alert. maybe. Alert. Uh, like, is, is there a way to that rooftop alarm. from here? Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. There's a legend. Nice. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Warning. Listen, Deadly I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. <laughs> That's a really good plan, but uh, there's uh, there's one problem with it. Come on. What's that? The door's locked out. Remember? Alert! Oh, Alert! Shit. Nine one one. Come on, I have an idea. Called. Police what? are on their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel Put your hand to the on that reader's building. Wait, what are you doing? Deadly force. Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, five four two Alert. nine zero zero Alert. nine. Uh, nine is that right? Has been called. Yeah, let's go. Police are on their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security Here. personnel I'm gonna to need the you help me out. building. Okay, hold on. Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Are you kidding me? These days, Alert. that's all they do. Alert. 911 okay. has been called. Go. Police are on their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. Uh, what do you say now, huh? Stella, we got this. Big fan, bro. Jimbo! I know you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Answer me, goddammit! It's Sarah Whitaker. I walked here, remember? Deacon Lee, Lee St. John. ID 5429 Thank you, my She's friend. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale's like Search Iron View facility. Come on, this is your first model. Disable voice response. The hell with you! Here we go. You should have left when you had the chance! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, good new water. Yeah, the blue one. Security person. Look for the death now, boy. Tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank Bye. you, Jim. Yes. What's in there, my friend? seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? It's David funny. Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I, don't, I don't understand what he means. I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, 
I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh and two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped it. You How don't you understand. It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Blues or letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could hold that up? Yeah, sure. Burn, you little bastards. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. That did it. Loser, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deacon? Deacon, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me when I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. 
Freaky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dave? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Dave. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle? I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? 
There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in, Sarah! What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. Hmm. The son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man, Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. 
My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our art with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now? This terrible war is over. Will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Hey, Deke. That uh, Corporal. Hey, Sarge. Corporal Deacon St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Russian made this weapon pose a lot of power in the Gorgon and used a hold. You could do worse. One shot, one kill weapon. It's large kill a rapid fire rate. No reloads and minimal recoil cases. A unique shotgun that fits in a hip holder. Cost. But it's where stability makes up. What, you want to ask me how to date or something? I'm busy. Now that's a gun. Hey, you be careful with that one. They'll shoot your eye out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they get the best shit on Wizard Island. Oh, big spender. Huh? Ah, okay. Whoop, St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Corporal St. John. Sergeant. How's life in the races? Corporal, you come back in one piece, all right? Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Open it up. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? 
Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or did for the militia. You know, I mean, it does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over it. New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John, yeah. Something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see. <clears throat> Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. <clears throat> yeah. Copy that. Saint John out. trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then, a fair hanging by the neck until dead. Uh, yes. Fair trial. Then, uh, right. Anyway, just reporting in. St. John. Who knows, Cope may be right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside, there we go. More bounties. Nest. 
Gotta be right around here. Is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Ah! Finished. Should be less freaks around here. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone.
Ez egy ilyen neft koi, mint a vagyikinál. Ez egy neft az a bó. Tinta, tinta. Ez egy ilyen nem kis. चाइटे ही सेड है ना ये ही सेड है नहीं तो शेष कोई रहेगा टोन नो साइड Smell it. It's <clears throat> gotta be getting close. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here.
Arco ar asta nici. Zonları böyle de düşüyor. Bir tas takılma. Harita bak iş. Start to go. safer to ride through here. No, 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 please, please. Oh. Maybe 
useful. Kiri? Shop to get Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Use everything. Okay. I'm taking a bullet off it. Oh, another one of those uh, micro recorders. Yeah, wonder what happened here. <sighs> Nero injector, just what the doctor wanted. down there, huh? Yeah, where are you? Come. Okay. Oh, that's it. Road 
to be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? Investigate the bunker. There should be something. Ah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, my friend, I found it. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we live through the Red Scare. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue. Or a communist red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him. Taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. Yeah, Coach, not today. Not in the mood for your truth or bullshit. Is there anything for me? Nothing? Come on.
I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in to see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Deer crossing, you know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? Still is. <laughs> Sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim. Yeah, I'll be around. Deacon out. Know. Is it? God damn, this has got to be close.
Here's another one. Time to burn. I will come back later, my friend. I don't have a cocktail. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta find a way inside. Taylor. Huh. Dickens, St. John. I don't 
are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. <laughs> and they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. <laughs> I don't want to hang. Don't let them John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir.
are you? Sergeant, how's life in the races? Corporal, you come back in one piece, all right? Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Okay, now that's more like it. Oh, big spender. Huh? Oh, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Sarge. Okay. Deke, uh, Corporal. See you, man. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. <sighs> Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. Alright, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on some of this once for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. You little shit! Oh, Jesus! Oh. 
Fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, the Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Well, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. I'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Here we go. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me. Well, their biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. she put in that. That shit went down fast. God damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh my god, are you, are you... You're trying to cure it? I thought... That once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could... Create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on, is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. 
You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How are you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I, I think should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs>
I've got more Molotovs. Ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan? Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that.
What's this? Are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? 
Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll Finally. see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. Every day.
you got a better plan. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. With the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Random guy, Kella Hobe. You're out of a job. Hell yeah, it works. Oh, yeah! Kella Tohoi to see you, my friend. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The yeah, office's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John, I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... Been uh... walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. That and then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Korea. Important project. What project? Hey, sir. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh... Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my 
Home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. He's Mennonite or some shit. No, it's dancer. Wait, what's dancer? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Hey, sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry, yeah, just reporting in. Um, it's like what you said. Okay, viewers, ask John of the to be Rulo. But then Nikal Kavacholashbo, show a palatagben, show a video share, Corbin, subscribe, Corbin, I will show you. Burn up the nests, get an email on tops.